that brings us to Primal Hunt. The Black Sheep, if you will. I can't really go very far into the plot of this one without spoiling. Because there's almost no plot. It's a very, very short expansion pack. Even for an expansion pack, it's incredibly short. Basically, a predator 500 years prior to the events of AVP2 finds and activates this artifact that seems to keep aliens in check. For no readily obvious reason, it suddenly malfunctions, and he has to fix it, leaving him in stasis for 500 years, and thus he runs around shortly before the events of AVP2. This is because the stasis is turned off by the artifact being disabled by Dunya, the corporate trooper that appeared in AVP2 and who you now take on the role as. And she seeks to get the artifact back to the pods. The Predalien, which you play as this time, also wants the artifact. That's about it. This is pretty useless. They get the aliens all wrong. Rather than seeing ducks and vents or being near a hive or something to explain where all the aliens come from, they just kind of come out of nowhere. The makers of this seem to think that aliens work fine if you just swarm the player with them. You also run around in very open areas and have aliens come at you. Excuse me, but aliens do not work well when you can see them coming from a long distance away. Zombies work well in that situation. Michael Myers works well in that situation. Aliens are exciting when you don't know how many there are and you don't know exactly where they are or how they might come get you. The level design is just ugly. There are some areas where the aliens this very artificially tries to lengthen the game, and it's very awkward and obvious. There are portions where the aliens get really confused at how to get at you, and so they don't quite catch up with you. That's really embarrassing. This one is just difficult to find your way through. In the first, it's kind of, you have to know where you're going, but where you're going will make sense. This one... It's kind of like if you get matched up in class with that other kid in school that you know doesn't like you, and you might know like 50% of the assignment, but you just know, even if it's going to mean an F for both of you, he's not going to dish out his 50%. He's going to lead you on the wrong path over and over again. The levels suggest that you're supposed to go this or that way, but then you find out you're supposed to go the other way. And even with that, this took me, I kid you not, three and a half hours to complete. That's it. That's almost as short as Blue Shift. An hour for the Marine, an hour for the Alien, and an hour and a half for the Predator. Yes, as the Predator, yes, you get to run around the Predator ship if you didn't get enough from seeing it at the end of Predator 2. And yes, you get to run around as the Predalien, but so what? The face-hugging mechanism seems to take slower to ready up, costing you invaluable seconds. And it's not like it's stronger. And even if it was, so what? All the humans instantly die from your attacks anyway. In AVP2, you hear about how Pod 5 was lost before the events of the game, and in this one, I guess you supposedly find out why. It's really not terribly interesting. This does not at all let you feel like you accomplished something. At the very most, the marine side maybe, or the corporate side, I should say. And even that, really not very much at all. The corporates get to have two pistols, one in each hand. You know what, I love John Woo, but John Woo and aliens and predators, no, okay, that just, no, no marriage, I'm, I'm gonna preemptively divorce this pairing, okay? The predator gets this fast shooting energy weapon on his wrist, again, yes, that is quite cool, I'm only human, I'll admit that, but it's not a predator, I'm sorry, what hunter has a machine gun? Okay, is this the Sarah Palin of Predators? I'll tell you what kind of hunter. A lazy-ass hunter. 
ooh, yes, he's the ancient predator. He's 500 years prior, which is why he has the most advanced weapon of any of them. And with how short all the campaigns are, you barely get to do anything in this before it's over. It also adds some new multiplayer rules, like you can morph into a queen as an alien after showing so many kills, but it's huge, very slow, and very easy to kill. I'm talking, it's so big, it has its own zip code. No, I'm just kidding. It's so big, it can't move from room to room. What is the point of that? The predator gets to self-destruct when he dies, which is really quite useless when you actually stop to think about it. And no, the explosion isn't big enough to kill much of anything. In this one, they sort of try to go for the creatures being vocal, but they just reuse the ones we already know. So, if the predator is taunting a creature in the single player, he'll do the laugh from when he activates the self-destruct mechanism. Or if he shouts an order to someone, he'll use the shout from healing himself. I'm not kidding. The new things just make the game unfair. The sentry guns are way too effective. You know, the humans can now pick them up and set them. How are the aliens supposed to fight those? I mean, in multiplayer. You also get to use exosuits. Again, way too powerful. You know, the sides were even in AVP 2, pretty much. Oh, and the corporates have this motion tracker that's 360 degrees, not just 180. And then it's only of a shorter distance. But that's just pointless. The fun of it was before that you had to every so often turn around to scan the other side and then turn back around. The fully automatic weapon for the Predator is of course for the aliens, but the shoulder cannon worked just fine. And a fully automatic weapon for someone who's supposed to remain undetected, some of the face huggers seem to just hurt the Predator. The face hugging in the Pred Alien campaign is just way too difficult. Those were my spoiler for reviews of the Alien vs. Predator games. I hope you enjoyed them. I will see you next time.